to make the sleeves cast on 47 stitches and make a similar border that we usually made for the sweater that is one row with blue six rows with white and two rows with blue complete the border and then we will see the increase pattern nine rows of border is done now for the next six rows you have to follow the design pattern the same design pattern so complete first six rows first four rows simple stockinette with white color that is with color b and fifth row with color a that is one stitch one knit stitch with white and one knit stitch with blue color then sixth row will be a complete pearl in white color so complete first six rows and then we will see the increase pattern for the sleeves six rows are done now we will start shaping the sleeves with increase pattern now to begin this row make a knit one and make an increase in the same stitch that is without dropping this loop you have to make another knit stitch from the back loop of the same stitch like this this is a knit one and make one from the same stitch now continue to knit in pattern this pattern follows knitting all the stitches until last two stitches are left so continue to knit all the stitches when last two stitches are remaining make a knit one and without dropping this loop make another knit from the back loop of the same stitch and increase a stitch so this is a make one and knit the last stitch so in this row we increased two stitches one at the beginning and one at the end now on the wrong side purl all the stitches on the right side knit all the stitches so continue this for next five rows and on the sixth row on the sixth row coming sixth row again you have to follow the same increase pattern that is increase one stitch at the beginning and one stitch at the end and while you continue you have to include these extra stitches in the pattern after making two times increase you will have one extra stitch to make in blue color every fifth row so you have to remember that and continue this increase pattern that is increasing one stitch at the beginning and one stitch at the end on every sixth row until you have 77 stitches on your knitting needle okay so continue the same increase pattern every sixth row until you have 77 stitches on your knitting needle when you are on the wrong side i will show you how to increase make a purl one and without dropping this loop again make another purl through the back loop like this and now you can drop the loop continue purling all the stitches until last two stitches are left when last two stitches are left make a purl one without dropping this loop make another purl through the back loop of the same stitch and drop the loop and purl the last stitch so this is how you increase while you are purling you had increased here and after five rows on the sixth row we have increased one more time so continue this increase pattern now i have 77 stitches on my knitting needle and from now the increase pattern slightly changes the only difference is we were increasing one stitch at every end at every sixth row from now we will be increasing one stitch at every end at every eighth row and this increase pattern we have to follow until we have 83 stitches few more rows until you have 83 stitches you have to follow the increase pattern that is increase at every eighth row instead of sixth row continue to increase till you have 83 stitches now i have 83 stitches now from this row you're not going to increase any stitch you will just be continuing working straight in the pattern until the work measures 44 centimeters from the beginning including the garter stitch border your work should measure 44 centimeters until then you have to continue straight in pattern without increasing any stitch now the work measures 17 and half inches or 44 centimeters from the beginning now we will start to shape the top part of the sleeve begin by casting off 9 stitches loosely 1 2 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नाइन आफ्टर कास्टिंग ऑफ नाइन स्टिचेस नीट ऑल द स्टिचेस कंटिन्यूइंग इन द पैटर्न going to the next row wrong side begin by casting off 9 stitches again cast off purl wise 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Eight and nine. After casting off nine stitches, continuing in the pattern, purl all the stitches. After casting off nine stitches on each side, now we have sixty-five stitches, and this is the right side of the work. And we will begin every right side by making a knit two together. or by casting off one stitch whichever you feel easy reduce one stitch and then continue in the pattern reduce one stitch at the beginning continue with the pattern knit all the stitches until you have last three stitches left when you have last three stitches knit one stitch and make a knit two together with last two stitches now going to the other side on the wrong side without decreasing any stitch purl all the stitches coming back to the right side begin the row by again decreasing a stitch at the beginning you can either make knit two together or you can cast off one stitch decrease one stitch at the beginning knit all the stitches in between and at the end you have to decrease one more stitch that is make a knit two together when you have last two stitches left and this decreasing only on the right side will continue until you have only 33 stitches left on your needle so continue to decrease one stitch at the beginning and one stitch at the end of every right side row until you have 33 stitches left on your needle I made my last set of decreases on this right side row and now I have 33 stitches. Now from this row that is from the next row or the wrong side row we will continue to decrease even on the wrong side. We will decrease two stitches at the beginning of wrong side and at the end of wrong side and also on the knit side or on the right side beginning and end. And we will continue this until we have 23 stitches left. Begin by making a purl two together and continuing in the pattern purl all the stitches except for last two stitches at last two stitches again we will finish the row by making a purl two together going to the next row on the right side begin by making a knit two together continue in the pattern and make all the stitches knit wise at the end finish the row by making a knit two together now repeat the same that is decreasing one stitch at each end for every row until you have 23 stitches left now i have 23 stitches remaining and this is the right side row so now we will cast off all these 23 stitches this is the end of the sleeve
So this completes the sleeve. This is the top shaping. Repeat the same process to make another sleeve in a similar way. After completing the sleeves, we will go to joining the parts together. Now this is the back part. This is the first front and this is the second front. Now we have to join the shoulder part. For that, keep the right sides together like this. Right sides should be facing each other. Now take your needle and thread and join the shoulder parts together. You can see there are two tiny steps here. While joining these parts you have to be a little bit careful. Pull the stitch a little bit tight so that there is no gap left in between. So complete joining the shoulders and then we will start with making the neck band. <laughs> 